He can't sign squat. He can't run nothing unless you let him run it. Jesus took away his control. You have to go, oh, come on in, Mr. Satan. Come on in, Mr. Sin. Come on, come on, just have your way in my life. Lord, I'm just doing the best I can. Come on, sin. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. When he was on the cross, he was then showing out. Yeah. Dying but showing out. <laughs> Dying but living large. Yeah. Dying but still the man. Yeah. How you gonna kill somebody that's the man? And, and you notice, you notice, nobody told him when it was over. He said, it is. <laughs> Y'all better preach this thing. <laughs> no, they didn't, they, 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 didn't, they didn't have to go and kill him. He told them it's finished. Then he put his head down. <laughs> then he put his head down. Nobody put his head down. He had it up all this time with all of that on his head. All the pain that he was having to endure because in order to do that, he had to do that for captivity to be made captive and under his feet. So here he was with nails in his feet but stuff under his feet at the same time. The man up there dying, still the man. Kill me, but after three days I'm going to rise because I'm the man. Come on, come on now, y'all. I'm the man. Somebody need to shout, he the man, he the man, he the man. High five your neighbor say, he the man, he the man, he the man, he the man, he the man. You sure y'all like this? Yeah. This is all you're getting today. Suck it, suck it now. All right. And I'm still in Ephesians 4, right? Ephes now I'm at verse 10. Lauren, you okay? You, you okay, Lauren? Thank you, Lauren. See, see Lauren got me. She's she, she feeling me. Yeah. Ephesians 4 and 10. And the same one who descended. Who we talking about? We talking about the man now, right? Who we talking about? We talk about the man. He's a little vernacular. Who we talking about? Man. Talking about the man. The same one who descended is the one who higher than all the what? This is where we talk about the untouchables. Now, I know y'all don't know nothing about the untouchables. I ain't talking about that one that came out about 10, 12 years ago. That, that ain't the untouchables. No, the, the original untouchables was untouchable. That Elliot Ness was a beast. I don't care what nobody said. Ness was a beast. Well, you, you, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? I oh, mean, y'all, this stuff that y'all see now, this, this is a remix. And the mix don't even go into the re. This was when it was black and white. We didn't know nothing about color. You know, we, we didn't even know there had to be any such thing as color. And then and years later, RCA come out with a color TV. And, and, and I said, Daddy, are we going to get a color TV? He said, yes, everything is in color. <laughs> My daddy had an answer for every man and his son, too. I said, so, 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 so. And, the and the same one who descended, who, the man, right? Oh, man. Jesus. It, it notice the capitalization, one. So it's proper. The same one who descended is the one who ascended higher than all the heavens so that he might fill the universe with himself. He had to do that and do this so that this could be restored and be under his rule and his rule alone. And I'm not going to go into 4 and 11, but I'll just tell you so that you'll know. Well, what do you mean, fill the entire universe with himself? How was that going to happen? And he gave some to be apostles, yes. prophets, yes. evangelists, yes. pastors, and teachers, so that he could fill the whole universe, come on, with himself. Mike, we over here fighting about who apostle and who ain't no apostle. What you, what you tripping for? He didn't give you, he gave some. And there was a select some. I don't care how many business cards you have to say, I'm Prophet Jack Leg. 
I don't care what the name of your ministry is. And I'm not, and I'm not casting any aspersions. Don't, mis, don't misconstrue what I'm saying. Because there are a lot of people that will go get cards, establish some ministries. And, and, you know, you can, listen, you can actually send, Pastor Jeff, you could actually send off and get ordained. You follow a questionnaire, they'll ordain you. Send you your papers. 501c3 group, a valid group. You can get ordained as an apostle. You can get ordained as a prophet. You can get ordained as a pastor. You can get ordained as a teacher. You can get ordained as an evangelist. You can just, you, you ain't got to do nothing but fill out the paperwork. Oh, did I, did I mention the fee? Yeah, you got to pay. Come on, you, you're going to get to wear the badge, Antoine. You got to pay, dog. You can put some what's up. And so, Willie, you, if, if you want to be an apostle, you can just send off for it. Fill it out. Send the paperwork. Give them your credit card information. Three to five days. This is to certify that Willie J. Mack Washington Jr. is apostle. Signed and sealed by Apostle Doodoodoodoodoodoodoon from Doodoodoodoodoodoodoon. And you just go get you a nice little frame, get you some cards. And anybody want to question the cards? All you got to do is bring out your frame. What up? What up? I am Apostle Ben Straight. Been straight all the time. <laughs> I'm Pastor Jackie Jackson Jr. That's all I got, I got to do, Stace. That does not qualify me for verse 11 because he's the one that set some. So just because I have ordination papers, just because my leaders say, Yay, 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 I see. Clementi Lorimbai. I see that you're an evangelist. I see great things coming from you. That does not qualify me for right. verse 11. God wanted Jesus to fill the universe again with himself. So he had certain carriers that he wanted to put that forward in. So that they could perfect the church. Oh, I said I wasn't going to go over here. So they could teach the church the work of the ministry. So they could teach the church how to grow up and be effective in reaching the lost and encouraging one another. Jesus was just trying to show that I'm the victor. And so as the victor, if I have set an apostle there, it's evident and proof who I am. See, Mike, that's why I can never take who I am for granted. Because it ain't my call. And for me to be here makes a statement about him. Not about me. I don't care how many collars I have. I can have more collars than a bad dog. But it doesn't make me, do you understand? Tamika, it doesn't make, guys, you better do the AC. The, the sisters, are, they, done lost, they done lost the spirit. They, they, just, they just didn't come out the spirit and, and, and they done moved into clothes. You know? <laughs> watch, watch, watch. It, 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 doesn't, it, it doesn't make me, Pastor Warren, because I have the collars, because I know the protocol, because I know the etiquette, because I know the creed. This is the Apostles' Creed. That doesn't make me one who has been set. And it still doesn't make me the issue. It doesn't make me the focus. I'm not the focal point. That's why I tell you, even in this congregation, if it's about me, God will remove me to put somebody else here. Because watch this character. He said, I will share my glory with no man. I didn't go through all of this. To give you all of this. To share my glory with anybody. I paid the price. I'm the man. Come on y'all. And 
went so, 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 so. Oh, we, you know, y'all know I ain't going to get finished, right? Yeah. I said, you know I'm not going to get finished, right? And, and I know some of y'all thinking, we know, we know you, we, would, we know you, Pastor. We know you weren't going to finish anyway. Oh, shut up. Stop trying to be cute. Watch, 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 watch. So he does all of this. Now, let's go back to, we already did Matthew 28 and what? Remember, we, let's go back to chronological order. We, we did Mark 16 and what? We did Mark 16, 14. Then we did Matthew what? 28, 18. And so let's go back to chronological order. So we, we kind of digress for you to understand. Do y'all do have a little better understanding so far? Okay. You know, because I, I, don't, I don't like to just say it, Elder Jerry. I don't like to just say it. Uh, I, I have this thing about wanting you to see it. Too many people said, the pastor said, the pastor said, Gabby, the pastor said, the, ba- the pastor said, the pastor said. No, what the, the Bible said. Amen. Just because the pastor said don't mean the Bible said. Right. Right. Don't get me started. The pastor said, try the spirit, by the spirit. The Bible don't say that. But you quoting it like that. Brandon, they'll be quoting the scripture. You know, the Bible say, try the spirit, by the spirit. If the Bible don't say that. If the, you know, old school used to say, you know, the Bible say you make one step, the Lord will make two. That ain't in the Bible. Oh, come on, y'all act like y'all never heard that. Come on, don't, didn't, didn't y'all hear that some, somewhere? You know, he, the Lord promised if you make one step, he'll make two. What is this? We dancing? One step, two. You know. <laughs> Y'all know you didn't heard that. Minister Deborah, you know you didn't heard some of them homemade scriptures? Yeah. Yeah, they homemade. You know, we just passed them down. We heard them and the pastor said, come on, y'all. Come on, talk to me. Those of you that are streaming with me, you know how you've gone and, and you've, you've created some scriptures that weren't even there because the pastor said. You didn't know what the word said. And then some of y'all say what the word said, and you just take it out of context. But let me, let me, let me, let me, let me leave that dog alone. Let me leave that dog alone, because that dog will hunt. Let me, let me get back and just, let me, let me can, I, can we go back to the chronological order? Okay, so let me show you chronologically. Let's go to Mark 16, 15. Man, I'm telling you, this is some good teaching here. This is, this is some good teaching. This is not in any way trying to brag on me. But if we were ever going to make a difference, we got to rise up now. This is our time. Somebody declare this is our time. Come on, say it with authority. This is our time. Paul had his time. The disciples had their time. Now it's, Keith, our time. And you know what's frightening? We ain't handling our business. We, we, come on, y'all. We ain't handling our business. We spend more time moping, grumbling, complaining, kicking rocks than we do handling our business. Having more authority than anybody else in the earth. And we moping, grumbling, and complaining. Okay, all right, all right, let, let, me, let me see it. Mark 16, 15. We're back in chronological order, right? With Mark. Then we went Matthew, now we're Mark 16, 15. After he says, all power has been given to me in heaven and in earth. Watch now. After he says this, and he said unto them, after, after, after Carolyn, all power has been stated. Antoine, I now have all power. In heaven and in earth. And he says right after that, Gabby, almost in the same sentence. Now you go where I haven't been able to go. My ministry has encompassed maybe 20 miles total. 30 kilometers total. Now you go into all the world. Sound like fill the entire universe. Sound like the the previous verse out out of Ephesians, right? Okay, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all, one translation says, all nations. Another one says to all creation. 
Now watch this. If we use the word nations or even creations, there's a Greek word here that we get the word ethnic from. And the Greek word is ethnos. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to the ethnos. To every ethnic group. And we're walking around here having issues with some of them. The Lord didn't call me for that. Shut up. Go into all. He, he was talking to, I don't believe he was talking to us, Pastor. He's talking to us more. Because we can do more with the gospel now than they could then. We can beam up a, a satellite and get the gospel out. Come on now. Go into all the world. All power's been given to me. I've dispersed gifts to you. Now go. You now have the power and authority, Linda, that you had from the beginning. It's been restored. Hey, Taj, it's been restored. Can we, can we, can we embrace that? Yes. It's been what? It's been restored. What? All power? In the spirit realm? Come on. And in the earth realm? Come on, y'all. Come on, I got to close up. I got to close up. Come on, come on. It's been restored. Because of what he did. And to show you that it has, Mama T, he gave gifts. Unto us. To make us effective when we go into all ethnic groups and preach and teach the good news. Because the gospel is good news. The gospel of Jesus? No. The gospel of the kingdom. You never read where there was anything Tamika ever said to you about preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I got I got I got to back out of this, okay? Because I got to wrap this up. You don't read that, Mother Wilma, where where we're taught to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, Pastor, hold on. I got to I got to disagree with you, Pastor. See, I got a point of order, point of order here. You see, in Acts, when the disciples Received the Holy, received the Holy Spirit. When they received the Holy Spirit, they talked about Jesus. They didn't talk about the kingdom. Good point. Watch, Pastor Jeff. They did. You're you're so correct. But you've got to go and look at initially where the dominant preaching was going on. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said, you who crucified him, who crucified him, Rome or the Jews? Come on, who crucified him, Rome or the Jews? The Jews. So in order, Elder Gerald, for them to be forgiven and to be accepted, they had to embrace Jesus. Oh, come on. You can't get into the kingdom, Taj, without knowing who is the king of the kingdom. The man. Go ahead, Karen better preach this thing. <laughs> She's going to be saying it all week and going through work. Y'all better watch out, the man is here. And the people going to be like, who's she talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man up in here. Yeah, yeah. The people, people, I got to, where? I've already seen them, don't worry about it. I got this. Help He up in here, though. Yeah. I done peeped Carolyn's game already. Yeah. Watch, 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 watch. So that's true, Pastor Warren. That was the initial message. 
Receive this Jesus who you crucified. Remember, I can't talk about kingdom. I've got to first get you to understand Jesus who came to restore the kingdom back to himself. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, 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 Mike, do y'all know y'all getting some teaching up in here? Watch this now. So, 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 Mike, I'm not preaching the gospel of Jesus. Because rarely can I go somewhere in the world where people don't know of Jesus, even if it's Muslim. Because the prophet Muhammad spoke of Jesus. And they embraced the teachings of Jesus and they call him a prophet. So they say, I'm not preaching the gospel of Jesus. I'm preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And the gospel of the kingdom says the bondage, or let's use the C word, the captivity <laughs> that you have been under all the generations past, that captivity has been broken and you've been liberated by the king of the kingdom. Hey. And that's all I can do today. Well, clap your hands for the Lord. Amen. 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 Woo did, 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 did y'all get something out of this?